Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration, be 1991, number 26. We have the integral of sine 6x cos 2x dx. And yes, this is actually my third time doing this. I just keep coming across interesting methods. This one came up in the comments a few times that we can actually use integration by parts on this. So let's see how this goes. I think what I want to do is differentiate this piece and integrate this piece. It doesn't really matter which way we choose it, so let's go with this. I'm going to do the DI method or tabular integration over here to the right. Differentiating sine 6x and we'll integrate cosine 2x. And then we'll just go ahead. I think we're gonna do this three times and we'll see why in a second. So derivative here, this is gonna be cosine 6x, but I need to pull out a six. And then doing it one more time, this is gonna be a minus in front, sine 6x. But then pulling a six out of times six, this is gonna give me 36 in front. Then coming over here, the integral of cosine 2x, this is going to be sine 2x, 1 half in front. And then doing it again, this integral is going to be minus cosine 2x. Pull another 2 out in the denominator, times a half, gives me 1 fourth here. And the reason I stop here is because now our integral repeats. We have sine 6x here. We have cosine 2x, so it's exactly the same as our integral, but we're going to have some kind of constant out front. So let's just see how this goes. We'll have part of our solution on the diagonals. So for this first part, we're gonna have one half sine six x times sine two x. And then for this next part, minus six times minus one fourth gives me positive six over four, which I can reduce to positive three halves cosine six x, cosine two x. And then this last row, this is gonna be an integral here. I'll just kind of create a label on our original problem. We'll call this I because we're going to get an i here. Now for the constant, minus 36 times minus 1 fourth. Out front, that's going to give me plus 9. So we're going to have plus 9 times this thing, i. And this whole thing's going to be i, but let me just rewrite it to get a little bit more space on the board. Okay, now next, what we're trying to do, we want to solve for i, but we've got i on both sides of the equation. So what I'm going to do is let's just subtract 9i here, and we'll subtract 9i here. So doing that, this is going to cancel here. Over here, i minus 9i is going to give me minus 8i. Then I'll rewrite all this stuff, but I'm going to factor out 1 half, as we've got 1 half in common here and here. Then next, I'm going to divide by minus 8 on both sides, because I want to isolate the i. So we'll do it here, and we'll do it here, dividing by minus 8. This is going to cancel, so we isolated our i. But then 1 half divided by minus 8, I can just update this right here. And I'll write this as minus 1 over 16. And this here would be a fine solution. What I want to do is try to get this to look like the solution we found in the other videos. So what I'm going to do is let's just use angle difference formulas on this and this to transform it. Okay, so here we have our two angle difference formulas that we're going to use. We got one for sine that we need here and one for cosine that we need here. So let's put this all together just using the formulas. So we'll have our one, we'll have this out in front. For sine 6x sine 2x, we're going to have one half then it's going to be cosine the difference of the angles. So it's going to be cosine 4x minus the sum of the angles, cosine 8x. And then for cosine, it's really similar. We have this 3 out front, so 3 times a half. We'll have this back as 3 halves. Then here, it's going to be the same angles. This is just going to become just different signs. So it's going to be cosine 4x plus cosine 8x. But then from here, we'll just copy this down. Now we distribute in, if we're distributing in the one half and the three halves in here, first for cosine 4x, when we put this all together, we're gonna have a half cosine 4x plus three halves cosine 4x. That's just gonna be two. So this is gonna be two cosine 4x. And then for cosine 8x, we're gonna have three halves cosine 8x minus half cosine 8x. That's just gonna give me one cosine 8x. And just add a plus C and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. Same solution we got in the other videos, just with a different method. This is the third time, hopefully probably the last time doing it, but you can see I do like this problem. So that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.